Shanghai is a city of diverse cultures, and within its bustling metropolis, you can discover a fascinating array of themed neighborhoods inspired by iconic global destinations. Shanghai's fascination with replicating European architecture and cityscapes is part of a broader trend in China, known as duplitecture, where entire towns or neighborhoods are constructed to mimic the architecture and atmosphere of famous international destinations. These areas are often popular for tourists and photographers seeking a taste of European culture within China. From the picturesque charm of Thames Town, reminiscent of an English village, to the enchanting Dutch architecture of Holland Village, designed to mirror the streets of Amsterdam and the alluring Swedish town that captures the essence of Sweden's culture. Each neighborhood offers a unique slice of Europe right here in China. Today, we'll be embarking on a captivating journey as we explore Holland Village in Pudong, delving into the captivating Dutch-inspired ambiance that awaits us. So, a new video again. Today, I am on my way to a Holland town here in Pudong in Shanghai. China and Shanghai have a lot of... Uh, a little bit quirky, funny things. One of them is uh, the different type of towns. They have a uh, Holland town, obviously, where I'm going today. And uh, they also have, uh, not so far from here, Paris. I think it's like one hour by train. So still it's Shanghai. And then they also have uh, England town. And I believe there are some more, but uh, for now that's all I can come up with. My plan is to uh, to make a little bit series. Like uh, today I go to Holland Town. In a few days I go to that Paris, mini Paris. And then uh, we see what we can do with this. It's, uh, at least I find it quite interesting that they made uh, mini versions of European cities basically and countries in one way. So follow me on this walk and we see what we can find. I know this uh, Holland town, it's not, uh, it's not the biggest. It's Swedish town, yeah, that's another one. Can't believe I forgot about that one before. As you can see in my previous video from there, it's a lot bigger than what this will be, but uh, still this one is interesting. So follow me and we check it out. So this is the Holland village and, and uh, it would be interesting to go inside but uh, I have a feeling that the apartments and the buildings inside is uh, yeah, not so much Holland style as we can hope for. I think it's, uh, it's just a name basically. But as you can see there from the outside, the buildings are not typically Chinese, so a little bit European style, yes, that I have to give them. But I believe uh, it's uh, just European on the outside, most likely very Chinese on the inside. But uh, let's continue down the street and we'll see what else we can find.
a little bit of Holland town. As you can see, some of the houses actually have that European touch and Holland touch. But a lot of them actually don't have. And uh, I believe one problem with all of these uh, a little bit uh, special towns built here in Shanghai is uh, they are not abandoned but uh, they were built for much more people than actually live there and much more businesses than actually open there so uh, you get a little bit of feeling like it's abandoned but uh, who knows maybe in the future will be completely packed with people and businesses let's hope so now I will continue uh, walk a little bit more to uh, show you the the key part of Holland Town. You will understand what I mean when you see it. It's actually quite obvious what it is, but uh, follow me and I will show you very soon. Just a moment when I say it's abandoned, I found this. One uh, little square completely packed with people playing mahjong and different card games. So I take it all back, it's not abandoned. I was completely wrong. Not completely. I exaggerate a little bit. Both when I said it's abandoned and now. It actually have quite a lot of people live there, but uh, obviously there's room for a lot more. So what better way to end the video about Holland Town with the windmill in the background. Again, it's interesting that they decided to build these mini towns here in China. Holland Town maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the, the smallest one of all of them. But uh, I choose to start with that one because it's uh, closest to where I live. That's, that's it, I'm a lazy YouTuber, but I'm trying. Anyway, that's it for this video. I don't know what the next video will be, but uh, it's coming soon. So remember, subscribe and like this video. And please also leave a comment. That's one thing I'm missing in my, this, uh, on my this channel. Comments from people who watch my videos. I get a few, but I would like to get much more. And uh, it would be nice to, to build some type of little community and uh, where we can talk about business, uh, high-tech, digital things, traveling and anything we find interesting. So like, subscribe and comment on my videos. See you in the next video.